All right, it's Devon Goodall from FightHype.com. I'm here with Bam Rodriguez. Looking good with the strap on your shoulder, yeah, man. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. <clears throat> How exciting it is to be able to fight, you know, here in the Canelo Triple G rivalry undercard? Yeah, it's crazy. Um, the platform that I've been given, the opportunity that I've been given to come out here and show, you know, every, all the fans of boxing who I am. Now, I, first and foremost, I have to say, your last two performance was spectacular. Um, your trainer, Robert Garcia, has been saying this for how many years now? Do you feel like <clears throat> because of those two performances that now everyone's just kind of jumping on and seeing your talent and, and just kind of being able to kind of anoint you as like the next future pound for pound guy? Yeah, my last two performances, you know, that that's what really got people's attention and the circumstances that I took my uh, world title fight on. A six day notice moving up two weight classes and then to go and face um, probably the hardest punch at 115 in Rungvisai and stopping him the way that I did. So mm -hmm. I believe those kind of performances and those those kind of, um, you know, just the, the way that it turned out, it, that, that catches people's attention and they appreciate that. You know, your style is very versatile. And then on top of that, the punch selections that you choose are very, very unique and, and they're reminiscent of a lot of very talented fighters and they've compared it to like all like I said other future pound for pound or current pound for pounds um, where did you get your kind of developmental style and who did you watch and just how did this whole get put together yeah as an amateur I, I would watch a lot of Lomachenko so whenever I would see his fights I would see what he does and you know keep that in my mind and then go to the gym and work on it myself and then once I started working on it I felt like it came natural to me so I feel like I, I've just always been born to have this kind of style and have that special ability that Lomachenko has you know and I'm assuming some of that is turning the opponent because you make people dizzy <laughs> like I can only imagine one minute yeah. they think you're on the left side but you're really on the right side yeah and they turn but you're back on the left side just talk <laughs> about that you know, turning your opponents and just getting yeah, confused. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what separates me from the rest of these fighters. They, they don't have the footwork that I have, so whenever they're in the ring with me, they're, they're expecting me to be here in front of them, in mm -hmm. front of them. but, you know, I'll throw a punch and get on the, on the side of them, and they'll be like, where'd he go? And then mm -hmm. the next thing they know, they're, they're, they're on the canvas. You know, seeing the fact that you faced a crafty puncher who was able to land that power punch on, you know, Chocolate Tito, there was a lot of threat in that particular fight. What was your, like, how did you stay so composed knowing that you were facing uh, a dangerous puncher that can hurt you or potentially hurt you at yeah. any moment? I, I know if he caught me clean, he would have hurt me, but, um, you know, having the team RGBA, they, they always reminded me every round to be careful and stay cautious of his power. And, you know, just going into the fight as well, I, in, in the whole training camp, I knew the power he carried, so I had to be on my A game the whole time. And, you know, the outcome, the outcome came out just the way we expected. Now, that's old news, not saying it's not good news, because you obviously shine. So we got new news, you got to fight. Like I said, coming up on Saturday. What do you know about your opponent? And, and Yeah, Israel Gonzalez, he's fought for a title three times already. He mm -hmm. fell short all three times. He took Chocolito the distance. He gave you five, um, you know, a, a fight that could have went either way. But come Saturday night, he, he hasn't seen anyone like Bam Rodriguez. So I'm going to be able to go in there and just, you know, take him out early, I believe. Mm -hmm. And I say that in the in the most humble way. No disrespect to him, but I'm just a, I'm a, I'm a different fighter. Now, um... Other names have been floating around. Obviously, it seems like another trilogy is going to happen with Estrada and, yes. and Chocolate Tito. I know you and your brother were kind of like picking on who you guys want to get, but yeah. obviously, I have to hear from you. Like, is there a, uh, between the two, who would you rather face, and and, and who do you think wins that? Um, it's hard to say right now because my main focus is September 17th. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't even looked past his opponent. I know what he brings to the table, so I can't overlook that. But um, talking about the trilogy, I believe Chocolatito will go out there and uh, beat Estrada because I, I believe he beat him the second fight mm -hmm. as well. So he's going to come back hungry and just beat him more clear this time. Now, um, you know, there's this really cool relationship that I see, you know, Shakur has a fight next week. He's been giving you a lot of props, yeah. you know, online. And I know that you share the same, you know, respect for Shakur yeah. and you give him a lot of props. How was that relationship? Like you guys chat here and there and kind of, yeah. Know. Um, I mean, on Instagram, he'll swipe up on my stories and I'll swipe up on his every now and then. And um, in my last fight, uh, the night before, you know, I was fighting a South Point and Rungusai, so I watched his fight against Jamel Herring. And, I, mm. you know, we talked about that. I told him that I watched his fight and you like, oh, like, that's badass. So, mm -hmm. you know, I support him and he supports me. So it, it'll always stay like that. You know, and, and it's not to turn the interview dark, but, you know, he took some slack over, you know, for, you know, reasons that unboxing related but he sees a lot of great talent to you know 
traits in you and that's why he stands and defends and even picks you to beat you know, or, or go down against a new way in the yeah. near future you know is, yeah. that, is that you know like this future future i know but <laughs> how cool would it be to like fight maybe a new way maybe in the yeah a fight against a new way in japan would it would be major it would, it would be a mega fight and the the japanese fans will love that fight i'm sure now um now right behind you just have to get your prediction on the, the gennady and uh, canelo fight yeah. who do you think is going to win how uh, I, I believe canelo uh, takes this fight um you know Golovkin, he's, he's still a, a very good fighter he's a strong fighter as well but uh, canelo coming off that loss i feel like he's more motivated to go out there and show people that uh, you know he, he's still the face of boxing yeah and um my final question you know do you watch some of this YouTube boxing thing and just how to get from like, you know, like a champ himself? Just what's your thoughts on the whole like Jake Paul? And, <laughs> and I mean, I have no problem with it. Mm -hmm. It's just it, it brings more attention to boxing if anything. People people talk down on Jake Paul, but he, he trains like a real fighter and he, he's been improving. So you got to give him his respect. And, you know, he's not fighting maybe, you know, real boxers. But mm -hmm. when, when the day comes, I believe he's going to go out there and perform better than uh, people expect him to. Like an actual legit boxer yeah. like coming up. You, you, you think he's, you know, he's training, you know, he looks up to a lot of fighters. Would you ever kind of like at a time if you and Jake had a conversation, would you <laughs> give him a little point? It's like you got to slip the jab here and keep the outside. Like, would you? Uh, I'm sure he would appreciate some advice from like uh, an actual boxer. But, you know, he, he, he has his team. He has his people around him that, you know, <laughs> probably give him good advice from real boxers and stuff. So he, he, he has a he has a great team behind him. Awesome champ, before I let you go, any last message on social media where they can follow you? Uh, follow me on uh, Instagram and Twitter at 210BAM. Awesome, appreciate it champ. Yeah.